Humanity is poised on the edge of the illusion, preparing to move out of it, so that it may collapse back in on itself and into the state of non-existence from which you imagined it. However real it may seem to you, and some of you see it as far more real than others, it really is but a trick of your collective perception, soon to be dissolved. Collectively gathering together to make it seem real is no longer going to work because so many have realized that it is an illusion and they are no longer prepared to give their power away to the collective to further prolong humanity's unnecessary suffering within its narrow, unappealing, and illusory confines. Confinement is not a state in which it is appropriate for God's beloved children to be held, and he most certainly could never have conceived of such an unloving and restrictive state. Your decision to build and maintain it has presented you with many difficulties and problems that have grown bigger and seemingly more insoluble despite your increasing assortment of technical tools and devices to assist you in controlling your environment. The reason for this is that you have engaged with fear and closed yourselves off from love. When you are guided and empowered by love no issues or problems are insoluble, but the state of separation that the illusion upholds, and would have you believe is real encourages a state of fear so that you can plan for and protect yourselves from the dangers with which it surrounds you. And of course it does not work, as you are constantly discovering because you are the dangers from which you are striving to protect yourselves. When you embrace love and trust you cease to be dangers to anyone, but you are at present having a hard time believing that, as you observe disagreement, confrontation, and conflict all around you from which you remain convinced that you need to protect yourselves. The divine field of love enveloping the planet is encouraging you to change your perceptions, and many of you are allowing it to influence you most positively. One aspect of this is your increasing determination not to accept the dishonesty and corruption that has for so long been endemic all over the world. For quite a few years many of you truly believed that your side was basically honest and that it was those others who were causing all the problems. Now that the reality that no one is totally honest the illusion is itself a dishonest state of being in that it does not really exist has been recognized and accepted, steps are being taken by many wise and influential light holders to encourage and reward honesty and integrity, and as a result great strides have been made in exposing those who attempt to take advantage of their position in the short term, knowing that when their misdeeds are discovered they will have moved on. Their attempts to avoid being held accountable for inappropriate actions by devious planning and the spreading of disinformation are no longer effective because those with information about such tactics are speaking out and demanding to be heard. There is a widespread and outspoken uprising against dishonest codes and practices that is growing stronger and more effective daily. The tunnel vision perspective that my side is right and the other wrong is being rapidly dispelled as honesty starts to prevail and people begin admitting that they have made mistakes. The next step of course is we can fix those mistakes. And that too is happening. All across the planet people are deciding to behave responsibly and compassionately to address and resolve issues that have been bypassed or ignored because they conflicted with the vested interests of a few. This is a remarkable change of heart that is leading to all sorts of wonderful and unexpected consequences. And you light bearers and way showers are extremely effective in helping this process along as you intend to practice being loving at all times. Obviously you do not always succeed because your emotions can and do get the better of you from time to time, but the intent remains. You are conscious of and admit to your failings, and therefore the assistance on offer from the spiritual realms can flow powerfully through you, helping you to be strong, loving presences who are changing the world. Keep up your good work. Do not be discouraged by reports of dishonesty, corruption, and criminal activity, because those reports are an indication that the world is indeed changing as the unruly and selfish behavior of the influential and authoritative few is publicized instead of being discreetly ignored. The world is ready for change, and so it is happening, right before your eyes. Focus on that and take joy in it, because it is going to get even better. Your loving brother, Jesus.